Well, the arrival of the monarch butterfly is usually one of the surest signs of summer, but you may have noticed there aren't many this year. Experts who track the butterflies say fewer are migrating north than any year in the past. Christina Stevens tells us why and how this could be a sign of bigger changes underway. There is something conspicuous by its absence in Canada this year, the monarch butterfly. None in this garden specifically designed for them. A stark contrast to previous summers. They would be in here, they would be in the aconitias, they would be in my butterfly bush. We've never seen anything like this before. Scientists like Jeremy Kerr have taken note. We're very worried that the monarch population is collapsing uh, at a pace which is unprecedented. There has never been a smaller springtime migration of monarch butterflies than what we've seen so far this year. After wintering in a tiny area in Mexico, every spring monarchs head north. At nearly 5,000 kilometers, they make one of the longest migrations on the planet. And at a healthy 200 million of them was among the largest. But after a dismal showing in Mexico this year, a drop of nearly 60 percent, now experts' worst fears are being realized. Barely any have shown up in Canada. This is just a new event in history. The problem is partly illegal logging in their Mexican habitat, partly climate change, and partly development and farming destroying the milkweed monarchs live on. Habitat, habitat, habitat. If we don't change and change fast, we will we will eliminate the migrating monarchs. Scientists say we have to stop using so much herbicide which kills all the milkweed, plus stop mowing along the side of the road like this. Instead, let it grow wild. Not only are migrating monarchs pollinators, their decline is seen as an indicator of a much larger problem. The monarch is kind of like the canary in the coal mine. It's telling us that we're not treating the natural environment in a way that's healthy for the future of our planet. There's still a chance for migrating monarchs to gain back population. They do reproduce in great numbers, but if they don't... Losing the monarch migration would be a tragedy of the very first order. Something he says that could happen as soon as this year. Christina Stevens, Global News, Toronto.